Sean Foley. Ball as if stuck to his holy. Now up to the wing to Joel McKenna. Joel getting up and bringing it down. He takes his shot and it's over the bar. Joel McKenna, this lithe lad with a great reach and plenty of use of himself, stretching Limerick's lead to five points to three after 14 and a half minutes of play. And Pat Delaney gone in full forward now with Pat Hartigan in possession. Out comes the ball to Kieran Person, but he's beaten. It is Sean Foley. Oh, lovely bit of feeding by Joe McKenna. And a lovely point for Limerick. Oh, a delightful bit of feeling there. High in the air, one hand, and sending it over with such precision. Joe McKenna, the score. 60 yards out from the Kilkenny goal, and it's Bernie Hartigan. Joe McKenna. And a lovely point, and lovely point once again. Joe grabbing, turning, and striking and seeming to know exactly where that ball was going. That narrows the gap to just three points now as Kilkenny lead with the score three goals and five points to Limerick's one goal and eight. 14 points to 11. So the crowd in Semple Stadium certainly having lots to enjoy in these early minutes. These great rivals, neighbours down in Munster and that's a goal from the full forward. It's Joe McKenna. And then Dominic clearing it away for Limerick. Joe McKenna, and that's the second one for Joe. Comes to Pawdy Fitzmaurice. Hand pass to Liam O'Donoghue. Liam driving it ahead. Eamon Cregan in under it, but this is Joe McKenna again. Joe, it's blocked. And Joe McKenna tries it again. It's blocked off of Jackie O'Gorman. It's gone over for a 65. Final. And listen to the clear roll. John Maloney looks at the watch. Willie Fitzmaurice, Joe McKenna, he's done it, but it's too hard. Eamon Grimes gets a second chance at it. Dennis Colin, but it's coming to Dennis Burns. And that's Brian Carr. And that's it, Joe McKenna has got it, yes. Brian Carr shot it straight at the goalkeeper. Timmy Murphy, a little bit casual, let it bounce away from him. And Joe McKenna, the big full forward with four goals and 18 points already, has added another goal. And the puck out so quickly then from Timmy Murphy. That is a stunning blow to Cork. Limerick come again and here's Joe McKenna again. But it's blocked by Brian Murphy. McKenna's got possession again. And he gets time to get the shot in and get a point. Joe McKenna, now five goals and 19 points, and he's the big danger man Cork must worry about. Liam O'Donoghue going to take the cut in for Cork, right into the Cork defence. Joe McKenna, what a goal! It's all goals in this match. Joe McKenna has scored for Limerick. Limerick are back in front. Limerick, three goals and four points. Cork, three goals. What a match! And we'll have Limerick's number eight now coming up to take this line ball. Jimmy Carroll. Cutting it in very well. Deep into the heart of the fence. That's Joe McKenna! That's a great goal! We have had some spectacular goals in this match so far. And that was Joe McKenna's goal after five minutes of the second half. Bringing Limerick at one goal in front once again. 4-4 Limerick. Cork. 3-4. Infringement of awards are free to Limerick to be taken by their number seven, that's Sean Foley. Sean Foley for Limerick, anxious to increase their lead. In towards John Flanagan, towards Joe McKenna, and over the bar from Joe McKenna, increasing the Limerick lead to two points. Limerick, four goals and five points, Cork, three goals and six, the point scored from the free by Joe McKenna from that free which was taken on the centre of the field. Getting it to Frank Burke. 
Pat Herbert after the Frank Burke shot saved by Tommy Quaid. Out towards Brian Carroll, and here comes Brian. Brian with a long ball, way up the field. Joe McKenna goes for the run, and Joe McKenna's got it. He takes a shot, and it's the goal! A goal for Limerick, and Joe McKenna is the scorer. That goal has been coming for the last 10 minutes, and it's come now. And here it is again. Joe McKenna taking his shot, and into the net. He was under pressure from about four Galway men. Nemo O'Donoghue. Joe McKenna. And Joe has shot and the point. Narrowing the gap once again to three points between them. Galway 2-11, Limerick 2-8. Tipperary, or by Henry Grother. Tipperary coming back in the first half after so many years of disappointment in the championship. Now can to be caught. This is Pather Queeley. And the ball breaking away from him, dropping over wide. So Tipperary, who were 13 points ahead at half time, now only five in front. Donoghue with a sideline cut for Limerick this one about 60 metres from his own end line a good one it is Joe McKenna's there he's unmarked at the moment he was a couple of moments ago and he's got it what a full forward this is it was a sideline cut by Liam O'Donoghue 60 metres from his own end line Joe McKenna went up for it. Jim Kyo rushed out under him and McKenna got the shot on the goal. And he had his name taken by the referee. So Sean Foley with the long, long free for Limerick. Joe McKenna's got it and he's got the goal. This really is unbelievable. from his own end line sent a marvellous long free Joe McKenna picked it out of the air and into the back of the net Pat Fitzell this is Ali O'Connor and it's Joe McKenna again and they're level again oh, this is Paddy Kelly for Limerick Limerick in full flight still Paddy Kelly a relative newcomer for Limerick Pat McLaughlin is another goal! Joe McKenna the scorer. Limerick in full flight as Paddy Kelly walked the ball along in towards Joe McKenna. McKenna eventually managed to scoop it into the back of the net. Joe Dwyer is number 17. Out to Joe McKenna. That's another fine point by Joe McKenna. Making his presence felt now as he's come out to the half forward line, a point by Joe McKenna, 10 points, 11 points. A little tricky breeze, it's not very strong though, but it could be deceptive when the ball is in flight. Eamon Cregan here for Limerick, can he get the ball through? That's Paddy Kelly, no a chance from Kelly, Joe McKenna, it's so easy. It's out, it's a free out, it's a free out, George Ryan pointing out. It looked as if Limerick had got a sensational start. And Barry Smith, the right corner back, clears for Clare. Martin Meehan doesn't get his doubling stroke in. 
this is Sean Foley, well done on the volley. Breaking away to John McKenna, he must score! He does it again! What an amazing full forward! What an amazing total of goals for this big number 14! And how they celebrated in that dugout! From way out the field it came, it broke away, it appeared from Joe McKenna. He got away from his marker and had Seamus Jurak at his mercy. Liam O'Donoghue, the pitch in superb shape. Due in great measure to Jim Hickey, the long time caretaker here, who was here at half six this morning, went away, had a meal and was back again at nine. And the players, I'm sure, appreciate it. Joe McKenna, he's got possession. It's knocked away from him by Barry Smith, and it's a penalty. The number 14 there, he's the one that got the possession. So tense moments for Eamon Cregan. The shot that could put Limerick ahead. Seamus Jurak saves it. Sherlock Nan gets it away and Joe McKenna gets the rebound and the point. Joe McKenna was out about 20 metres there when the ball broke away from Sherlock Nan's clearance and he takes the equalising point. Is it Limerick here? The champions are clear for the first time in 49 years. That's Liam O'Donoghue's long delivery. Joe McKenna and that's his point. 14 seconds and Joe McKenna scores. It's Leo Quinlan. He's been robbed and it's Liam O'Donoghue who got it away. Joe McKenna here. He turns so quickly and he gets such a good point. It was Liam O'Donoghue's delivery from midfield. Joe McKenna pranced out, got it and on the turn hits the point. Brian Carroll gets a hurley to that. Tommy Keane breaks away to Willie Fitzmaurice. This is into Joe McKenna. He's got it. He's got through. He's got away. He's got the shot. And he's got the goal. Look at the Limerick supporters now. It was Willie Fitzmaurice who sent the ball from the left wing. Joe McKenna got it, got round the fullback John Ryan, and then sunk it in the corner of the net. So it must be one of the great monster finals after some disappointing games in recent years. These two Midwestern neighbours, Claire and Limerick, Joe McKenna now, he's got it. Joe McKenna was being pushed away from the ball by the fullback, but he used his height and his strength. He turned around and he got the hand pass in. Joe McKenna, he's got it in his hand again and it bounces away from him. Gets it a second time and he's got the point. That's a free out, that's a free out. Eamon Cregan rushing in on the goalkeeper as the ball was going over. You can see George Ryan there very quickly on the spot. Tom Quaid with the fuck out once again. Good long one. Well inside the 45 metre line and this is Joe McKenna. Joe McKenna shot and it's over the bar. Quicker than you can say, Joe McKenna, once he gets his hand on that ball, some umpire better get busy to dive. Limerick six points, go away, one, two, six to five. And Mikey Grimes to take this line ball on the far side. The flag you'll see is the 45 meter, and it's a lovely one into the goal mark. over the bar and look for a 
moment as if it was gone into the goal. It's high across the goal mouth. He gets his hand to it, comes out this way, takes his shot, and it goes up and is over the bar. And Joe McKenna has an injured hand. Stevie Mann is the number nine. This is Jackie McCarty, an early touch for him. John Flanagan is the number 11. That's Joe McKenna coming way out. An early score for Joe. So is he going to do as much damage as he had done in the Munster Championship? So since it is a free, Cregan is a loud place it himself that's the 20 meter line kept in play joe mckenna's got it and joe has got the point so joe mckenna kept to two points the last day has now got two points in this replay in the first 16 minutes Jackie McCarty is 18. This is Jimmy Carl for Limerick. The 19 is Con Keating. Joe McKenna's got it in his hand, and Joe has got the point. There are two points ahead. This is Frankie Nolan. Joe McKenna's out to it, gets the possession coming much further out than he did the last day and he gets the point actually inside of the Waterford half of the field far side of the field a new stand is the backdrop to Mikey Klein as he cuts the ball high and throws the goal like John Calvin puts his hand up to Joe McKenna backdrop to Mikey Klein as he cuts the ball high and throws the goal like John Calvin puts his hand up to Joe McKenna Sean Foley to take it. 113 to 110. The challenger's leading. Sean Foley's dropping ball. Joe McKenna puts a hand up. Doesn't he has it? The challenger's leading. Sean Foley's dropping ball. Joe McKenna puts a hand up. Doesn't he has it? Sean Foley's dropping ball. Joe McKenna puts a hand up. Doesn't he has it? well in front of the the ball as he takes it right into Joe McKenna must score oh McLean he could have got a goal that was the sort of situation that Joe McKenna drives on but the ball obviously didn't come properly off his stick he gets the point the equaliser in fact but it was from Jimmy Carr's long free into the hands of Joe McKenna he stepped one side and it looked as if it was a certain goal as Cork have unsettled him, but not Pat Herbert. He comes away quickly from defence. Long shot by him, Joe McKenna. Joe McKenna pulls on it and gets the point. The number 14, 
pulling on the long, long clearance from Pat Herbert, and he adds another. Joe McKenna is knocked away from him. Danny O'Connor gets it. Joe McKenna inside him. Joe McKenna gets the hand pass and the solo. Joe. very warm day despite the stiff breeze that's blowing and it's behind Sean Foley now the wind is as he takes that sideline for Joe McKenna reverted to centre or to full forward for the second half and he opens the second half with a magnificent point from a difficult angle way out on that left sideline he was this is what Limerick need to start this second half some smiles now that we didn't see in the first half from Limerick Sean Foley just on the middle of the field lofting it nicely into the parallelogram Joe McKenna it's in Joe McKenna now we've got a second half it was Sean Foley's long free from the middle of the field it landed in the small parallelogram Joe McKenna connected and that's the first goal of the game. Now what Herbert comes to Mossy Carroll. Nicely struck by the centre half back. Holly O'Connor again leaves it to Liam O'Donoghue from just about 65 metres out. Joe McKenna up for it, knocked away from him by Tony Walsh. Matt Ray back to Joe McKenna. Joe McKenna with the shot and now the others are joining in. Burn, Paddy Kelly now and Eamon Cleary Paddy Kelly with the ground shot Joe McKenna Matt Ray here John Nolan just gets out Joe McKenna he's got it Matt Ray comes in here John Nolan had to come out and Joe McKenna gets the goal the first of the game George Ryan brings that first half to the end and just listen to the appreciative crowd. The crowd appreciates some splendid and spectacular hurling. Paddy Kelly back in live action. Danny Fitzgerald here now. What a blow that is to Wexford after they got the penalty goal. This is Joe McKenna and he's got it. Oh, what a goal. He gets away from the fullback and crashes it into that net.
the referees just checking that Joe McKenna was okay. They're deadlocked with 211 each. Now, what a semi final. Jimmy Carroll for Limerick. Got away by Dennis Mattai. Brian Carroll here. Joe McKenna swinging out left. Donald O'Grady in picture with him. Joe McKenna from the difficult angle. They're in front again. So Joe McKenna sets the green and white alight again. A goal and a point within seconds, and he hadn't got a score up to then.